What's going on guys, I'm the Pop Chaser and today we're going to do Money's Funko Quarantine Challenge. So let's go. Now guys, if you are new to this channel and you like anything to do with Funko, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button. So let's get straight into it. Question one is, what is your favorite line to collect? Now, me personally, it would have to be pop vinyls. I do have a, a pop soda and a couple pop teas. I also have a couple pop pins, but the things they can do with the pop vinyls is absolutely amazing. So for me, it would have to be the pop vinyls. Question two is, if you could collect one franchise, what would it be? Now, for me personally, it would be DC. I do have a lot of Marvel, I've got like Batman and Venom, and yeah, and, but with my addiction with the Joker, it would have to be DC. Question three is, how far have you traveled to buy a pop? Now, back when I first started collecting um, the Venomized line, uh, Pop Culture came out with a Glow in the Dark Venomized Storm that you could only get their exclusive booth. So I bought a ticket to a Comic Con just for that reason. So I've traveled probably two, two and a half hours just to get one pop. And when we got there, I got the pop and I was like, all right, let's go home, but we didn't. So we stayed there for the whole convention, but yeah, probably two, two and a half hours. All right, question four is, what is the earliest time you've got up to buy a pop? I remember one year I did wake up about 6, 6.30 to get on the pop culture website to get in their queue line. Like their queue line is absolutely ridiculous. Like you'll wait there for five hours and yeah, you just got to sit there and wait until it's your time to go into the store. But yeah, probably 6, 6.30 in the morning. Question five is, what is your favorite retailer retailer to buy pops from? Back when I first started collecting, it was pop culture because there wasn't really many retailer stores around. But at this present day, it probably have to be my local Brutal Deluxe um, or either Hero Stash or Aussie Collectibles. But if I can choose one, it'd have to be Brutal Deluxe. They're absolutely amazing guys there and they help you out with anything they can do. So. Yeah, Pro Brutal Deluxe. Question six is, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? Now, when I first started watching YouTube on the Funko side of things, it would have to be Dr. Applesauce or Top Pops. But now that I've discovered some local talent, it definitely have to be Collector Lamp. So like his videos are absolutely mint. And yeah, he knows what he's doing there. And if go outside of Australia, into America, I'd probably have to say Pop Savage. Like he's an absolute cool bloke. He pulls up some sick videos and yeah. So probably out of those two, it'd have to be Collector Lampsy because you know, Aussie pride. <laughs> Question seven is, do you prefer the PPG or the Funko app? Me personally, I prefer, prefer the Funko app because it's much easier than going on the internet, than going on the PPG website and then looking at your collection. Like with the Funko app, you can just scan the pops and they pop straight up and you can either add to collection or add to the wish list. And yeah, so probably the Funko app for me. A question eight is which pop is worth the least? And in my opinion, this is completely wrong, but with the Funko app, it is right. And that is the Newt Scarmander with him standing in a suitcase. Like, I don't believe this should be the least valued pop that I have in my collection because, well, I'm a bit of a um, little bit of an obsession with Newt. Not as much as the Joker, but Newt is probably my favorite like character out of the like Harry, Harry Potter series. But yeah, so that's Newt. Question nine is, which pop is your most valuable? And people that watch this channel will guess this straight away, and that is the full convention Mandalorian. I got him pretty cheap and he's now worth, I think it's $392 on the Funko app. Like you probably couldn't sell that for $392, but you know, I'll take it. So yeah, so it's the full convention Mandalorian. I've seen people try and sell that for probably $160, $180 and they just cannot sell it. But yeah, I think the $392 is a bit of a, um, it's a bit extreme for this pop, because you probably won't sell it for $392. But yeah, so it's a full convention Mandalorian. All right, question 10 is, who is your favorite flocked pop? And it would have to be old flocked Charmander. I remember when I got my first Game Boy and Pokemon Fire Red, I had to choose between him, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. 
straight to Charmander. I think he's absolutely cool. He's pretty cute too. He's a bit childish, but yeah. So my favorite flocked pop is the flocked Charmander. Question 11 is which pop has the coolest sculpt slash mold? And for me, my personal opinion, it would have to be the venomized green goblin. Like with him standing on the glider with the venomized face and holding the flaming pumpkin. And yeah, they did an absolutely awesome job with this pop. And I can't believe how good it actually turned out. Like this would have to be the coolest sculpt I have, followed closely by the Venomized Storm up there. Like with her, and I think she's fighting on a storm. Don't really know to be honest with you, but yeah, just the electricity around her is absolutely cool. So I would have to say the Venomized Green Goblin. All right, question 12 is, which pop has the most room for improvement? Now we're gonna go back to my least valued pop, which is the Newt Scarmander. Like if you watch the um, Fantastic Beasts movies, you can just do so much with him. Like every pop they have of him is standing up with him like in a suitcase or holding an egg or just standing next to the picket. Or you know, just stand, he's just standing like in the same position. The only thing that moves is his arms. So I think they could do so much better with this pop. They just choose not to, so yeah. So the most room for improvement is the Newt Scarmander. Question 13 is, which pop is your least favorite? As soon as I got sent these questions, I knew this answer like straight away. And it is, oh, I can get her out. The Beverly Marsh from It. I absolutely despise this pop. It absolutely looks terrible. It's so plain. And yeah, just throwing shade at Beverly. <laughs> but yeah, when I saw It, it was an absolutely terrible movie. And I just thought, why did I pay this money to see this crappy movie. And yeah, so my least favorite pop is the Beverly Marsh from It. All right, question 14 is, what is my favorite pop? Now, people watching this channel will obviously guess this like straight away, because I've mentioned him so many times. And that is the Heath Ledger Joker. Now, if I did have the bank robber joker, I still reckon that this joker here would probably be my favorite because it's got so much sentimental value to me. Like him and Harley Quinn were on me and my wife's um, wedding cake. So yeah, and he absolutely did a smashing job in the movie. So my most favorite pop is the Heath Ledger Joker. Thanks for tuning in guys on the Pop Chaser and I'll see you in the next one.